going to be making French toast using this bread, which has chocolate chips already. And my kids love anything chocolate chip. And the person that hooked us up with the chocolate chip in everything, it's one of my best friends, Sally. So if you're watching, girl, you put me on this bread and now my kids are hooked. So this is how we're gonna be making our Christmas French toast in our home of Christmas morning. So let's go and let's get started. While I'm cracking the eggs, I wanna thank Melissa from I Am Merly Melissa and Christy from Living Life with Christy for hosting this breakfast Christmas morning collaboration as well as all the beautiful ladies that have joined this collaboration to bring you tons of motivation to prep your Christmas morning breakfast. Thank you ladies and make sure to go ahead and give them a thumbs up Tell them that Mariana sent you over and don't forget to help them grow their channel by turning on your notification bells and subscribing. It doesn't cost you anything, but you help us a lot. Continue to stay ahead in the algorithm and to spread the love and the Christmas spirit to other people like you. secret for some fluffy french toast is to continue beating and more beating so if it seems like you've been watching me beat the eggs and the ingredients for a long time that's because that's the secret also i'm showing you here a little trick so your paper doesn't start burning in the oven is to always put butter underneath the paper You could totally avoid cutting your slices in triangles and you could just use them in rectangles or whatever shape your bread have. I want it to be a little bit more fancy so I decided to cut them in triangles. But the one thing I do need you to know is that if you soak your bread for way too long, your bread will crumble in the bowl. So just remember, this step right here has to be fast. You dip your bread, you pick it up, you make sure to take the excess of the liquid and then lay it down on your tray. Very quick process.
sprinkling brown sugar you do this measuring with your heart and after we finish this you could refrigerate for at least two hours or overnight My birthday is on Christmas Day and what I usually desire on this day is to have a clean home and my children do work hard on just making sure everything is nice and clean and neat and their stuff is where it belongs but also they usually cook breakfast for me so here you see my son uh, making sure he knows what the temperature is gonna be for this French toast Last year, he actually made French toast on the stove and they came out amazing. This year, this is the recipe that we are trying now that we are familiar with the chocolate chip bread. So he'll be the one that has to do this step. That's why you see him here. eat eggs almost every day I can I just tell you how much we struggle during the midst of the pandemic because the supermarkets will only allow us to bring one carton of eggs every time we went but praise the Lord that that's behind us and now we can get together and gather with our loved ones go to stadiums and watch soccer or football and just be together and it's just so amazing that we made it this far so i pray that we pause and that we acknowledge that we are here that we made it and that we can gather around the table and bake bread with that being said the eggs are not going to be missing on our christmas morning and there's nothing like some fresh eggs simple and basic but I am going to teach you a trick for you to have the fluffy eggs. And if you watch me, I am going to add a little bit of water to the eggs. And this is the trick. You don't have to add milk. I find that when I add milk for some reason, the eggs are usually very watery. But when you add water to it, it actually turns very fluffy. We love buying this taco cheese. We use it on everything, not just tacos, a little bit of pepper. We don't add salt because the cheese itself has salt. And that's it. That's going to be our Christmas breakfast morning. And can I just tell you that the kids loved it. So stay until the end so you could see how you're going to serve it. And I pray that you have an amazing, amazing Christmas Eve and Christmas morning and any other holiday that you celebrate. Please let me know down below. Also, thank you. Thank you so much for supporting my channel, for hitting that subscribe button and helping me stay relevant. I appreciate you. I'm reaching over, giving you a hug. And without further ado, just stick around so you can see the end.